Hello all, welcome to Tech Capture. So in this video, we are going to see how we can create our Windows EC2 instance and we can connect to that instance using RDP. So in previous videos, we already seen how we can create EC2 instance, which is a Linux based or Debian and how we can SSH into that instance, how we can play with the security group. But now in this video, we are, go we are going to try a Windows EC2 instance and we'll see what are the different steps we have to follow if you want to RDP into that EC2 instance. So what we are going to see here, so first we'll create our first Windows EC2 instance, then we'll try to RDP into that instance and if you face any issues, then we'll play with the security groups and inbound outbound rules in our security groups. So these are the simple steps we are going to follow. So let me go to the cloud console and let me try to create my first Windows EC2 instance here. So I am in my cloud console home now. So either you can go from this recently visited EC2 or you can simply search EC2 here. I will open from here and once you go on this page, you will see the number of running EC2 instances you are having in your current AWS account. So I am currently in AP South 1 region that is uh, Mumbai. Okay, you can see I am in AP South Mumbai region and here I am not having any instance running. So let me open the instance page here and I'll click on a launch instance. So here I'll just give the name as Windows Server. Okay, here you can see the option is AWS, Mac OS, Ubuntu. I'll select the Windows. Okay, so it is loading. Now it is having 25 base. I'll go with this. Windows virtual machine okay so in instance type we have option t3 micro let me check all the options we are having so let me go with the medium so for this demo I will give you the medium so make sure it will cost you some charges so I am having some credit so I am using it you can use any of the free tier and here I will select I need to create a new pair so I'll just give the name as my Windows key okay and I'll create a key pair now I'll keep the setting as a default here so here I will not select any security group for now I'll keep it unchecked after that we'll try to IDP and we'll add a new rule if required okay so I'll keep other configuration as default and I'll launch my instance. So compared to a uh, Linux based EC2 instance, your Windows will take some time. Keep in the running status. Okay, so let me select the running one. So what I'll do, I'll just open it and we'll see how we can connect to our instance. So let me go to the RDP client. Here you can connect using RDP client and I'll just download remote desktop file and I'll simply click on this file. So once I click on this file, I'll try to connect and definitely it will throw an error because we do not have any port open to allow traffic on RDP port. So it will just time out after some time. So meanwhile, I'll just open a new tab. It is just trying to do RDP connecting and you can see is not working so remote access of the server is not yet enabled all this error it will show you so what I will do now I'll just go to my instance and I'll go to the security group so what security group I'm having so I'm having security groups here with the name launch wizard 8 let me open this security group in new tab Okay, so here you don't see any out inbound rule. So I'll add one rule to allow traffic on RDP port. So scroll here and check for RDP. Here is RDP. The default port is 3389. And I want to allow traffic from everywhere. I'll just save the rule. Okay. And I will again go to connect instance, RDP client, download file. I already had it, but I just downloading again. And let's try to login now so as soon as I click on connect it should ask me for password once it makes full connection now you can see it is asking for 
password now you can see the username administrator we are having correct but password we are not having if I click on uh, get password let's see what it will ask for okay so here it will ask us to upload private key which is this one we created while creating our windows instance so I'll click on upload private key which we had in our download section okay so I'll just upload this key and click on a decrypt password so you can see I got my password I'll use this password and paste here and now I'll try to RDP yes and now you can see I am logged in within my Windows EC2 instance so I am within my EC2 instance let me check the IP so let me open the CMD here and let me type IP config okay you can see the IP 172.31.13.184 I'll just verify it so you can see 13.184 so this is my IP address of my Windows instance so in this way we create, created our Windows EC2 instance and we logged in using the RDP into that instance so hope you understood now how we can create and login into Windows EC2 instance so that's it for this video and we'll see you again in a further video